Sam, uh, how do you think the segment's going? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you fought the good fight and you've really done your best, but this is a debacle. No, this, is, this, is, this is topical seasonal. You are showing all the signs of a host in rapid decline. <laughs> This will, this will change this your mind. This is the worst. This is the worst you've ever done. Oh. <laughs> this week marks the official start of winter. Days are getting short, nights are cold, and we're all feeling a little... Now, it's rules are simple. Tom, you know we're on television. <laughs> <laughs> rules are simple. There's a lot of ways to keep warm during the colder months. I'm going to ask you each a winter-themed question. Correct answer will give you ten points. Uh, Kitty, let's start with you. <laughs> Kitty, winter is coming, and Amanda from the Weather Network has a message for us as we brace for a chillier climate. Before you become a hermit all winter long, shutting your way into the indoors and just waiting for spring to happen, I want to teach you about a new word that I recently learned, and that word is hygge. Kitty, what is hygge? <clears throat> hygge. Um, it's a portmanteau word. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a combination of... <laughs> Hot and booger. It's, it's actually you, Danish. You got a hooger. <laughs> Kitty, I'll help you out because it's a tricky one. It's, it's a Danish term. It's something you can do at home, say in your lounge room or your bedroom during those cold winter nights. It's a Danish term for wearing this <laughs> stylish clothing. Oh, you look. I mean, in the nicest possible way, you look sort of like the kid that gets bullied at school. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> accurate. You're home, you're trying to make your house sort of fight the winter blues, so you do a bit of... It's cosy. Cosy, it's, you know, so you'd make the Toasty. house... Toasty. It's chocolate, it's fires, it's, Would... <laughs> it's all of that. Would you add in candles and throw cushions? Oh. Would I? <laughs> and then maybe a bath. Oh, no. I'm Stop sorry, it. Am I trying to... What am I deciding? You are defining... <laughs> That's a good question. I think you're trying to pick him up. <laughs> it's, like, it's making the rooms in your house cosy and warm for winter, like, as you say, with the bath and the... I and think I... I said cosy first up. Well, Why you... did we continue? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's a great question. Ten points to Kitty Flanagan. Good job. All right. Ed, you're up next. When it's sub-zero outside, it's common to look for alternative ways to stay warm. Nothing makes you feel more invigorated and refreshed than a steaming sauna. But who has the time to spend in a spa? Plus, the sauna experience can be expensive. Not anymore. Introducing the revolutionary... Introducing the revolutionary... What's the product, Ed? Judging from the video, it's a type of thing where the massage sign is flashing. And <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. It's not sexual. Oh, then I'm out of here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, you could keep you really warm and and. I know this. It, uh, it's like a suit. It's like a sauna suit that you wear. <sighs> sauna suit. Stop right there. Let's see if you're right. Introducing the revolutionary oh. sauna pants. The Atlum <laughs> sauna experience that you can enjoy when you want to and where you want to. Oh, oh please. So, ten points, Ed Cavalier. <laughs> sauna pants. So, uh, I've got one on. There you go. <laughs> All right, Claire, you're up next. Here's a couple enjoying a romantic winter walk in the woods. Now, we've blurred their faces to protect privacy. Those two people <laughs> are wearing a special product designed to keep them extra warm and cosy. Can you, uh, can you pick it? Um, is it like a muff that's binding their heads together? It's, <laughs> I'll give you some clues. It's, it's yeah. stylish and uh, you can take it on and off easily. It's machine washable. Are you talking about jumpers, Tom? No, because well, <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're more commonplace. Uh, last clue, Claire. It's designed to keep the body's extremities nice and warm. So what you're saying is instead of gloves, she's got a fake boyfriend to that's, touch and her that hands. Would, that would keep you warm? Know. I don't know, I can't... It's, it's a... What's another extremity you might want to keep warm on a cold winter's day? Oh, well... <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate to sure. ask. Uh, 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 above, to. above the neck. Above the neck. So, are you just talking about their scarves? No, it... I am not. Okay. Claire, 
It's a nose warmer. Very <laughs> you can you can get them online. This woman in England makes them. <laughs> All right, sorry, Claire. It was a, it was a tricky one. Yeah. Guy, you still with us? Oh. Yeah. You still doing this round? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's an item, I tell you what, this is flying off the shelves. Now, they may look to you like ordinary slippers, but these fluffy feet warmers have a special feature. Can you pick it? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you're, you're holding them for a start. Can you open it? Can you, can you go down to one and show me that? I'll go one better, Guy. I'll let you fondle one. OK. <laughs> can you wear them on your nose? I don't believe so, Claire, <laughs> but it's worth trying. Oh, mm. they got, um... They got a wheat bag in the sole, oh, and they so are there for wheaties. Wheaties. What would I do with them to keep them extra warm? What would you do with them before to... you put them on? You would. Oh, you well, you put them in the microwave. They're microwavable. Yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Would you like to take that home with you, guy? Uh, not especially. I would. I would. I would. Uh, so the other one. Thank you. Ooh, hey. you want to do that? Oh, all right. Sam, uh, how do you think the segment's going? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've fought the good fight and you've really done your best, but this is a debacle. No, this, is, this, is, this is topical, seasonal. You are showing all the signs of a host in rapid decline. <laughs> well, this, will, this will change this your mind. This is the worst. Yeah. This is the worst you've ever done. Oh. <laughs> all right, last question. Today's show hosts Hoda and Jenna are joined by Babs Costello, who has a handy hint for keeping those winter blues at bay. So during the winter, I have tea bombs on hand. So and are basically, you? it's just like all these fabulous things. One for Jenna. Thank you. We have to share. Let it steep for a minute. And you know, if you're feeling like something, you're coming down with something. Yeah. You have a little tea bomb. I love, I love a tea Cheers. bomb. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, it's tea easy, bombs. so you're oh not my constantly. I love it. I love it, I love it. Sam, what ingredients do you think one might find in a tea bomb? Cyanide? No, no, no it's drinkable. It's, it's to warm you up and keep your mood enhanced. What was that? What was that woman's name? Babs Costello. Babs Costello. It's <laughs> <laughs> like an old mafia hit hey, woman hey, or hey, something. Hey, like hey, that. Babs Costello. What do you, you, this is misdirection. What do you think's in the tea bomb? It's not misdirection. I just. I have no interest in what no. you're talking about. <laughs> it, what would you put in the tea? What's in it? Yeah, give me a couple of ingredients, you'd have the points. Well, seriously, tea. No, not tea. No? No, not tea. It's a tea bomb, but it's made up of not Can tea. Can I tell you, I, I am loving you two arguing while Tom's dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, if you get the correct answer, the segment will be over. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is negotiating with a child. <laughs> So a tea bomb, you put it in, you add hot water, and it and it warms you up in it because it's cold. Because I guess yeah. brewer is the name What's of the. What's in it, Sam? What's in it? Is it alcohol? You know, like, like brandy? When you got a cold, what do you put in your tea? Uh, lemon, ginger, honey. <laughs> lemon, honey, turmeric, and ginger. I <laughs> was it that hard? All right, all too soon. That brings all us to the end of. Not working is the perfect way for that segment to finish. <laughs>